Hey everyone, this is Greg Benz with a demonstration of the new color masking modes in Lumenzia version 3.0, which is a free upgrade for all Lumenzia customers. Now in the new version of the panel, you'll notice the top row now includes a bunch of mode buttons. And if we click on them, we can see that we get an interactive preview showing which of the buttons are affected. So for example, if I click on blue, I can see that all the standard masks and the zone masks will all be rendered with a blue version of that mask. So that's going to give us some very powerful capabilities. For example, in an image like this, where we want to select these yellows, but not the trees, I wanna go and make these yellows a little bit less powerful and bright. They're just competing a bit with the trees. I want the trees to pop out more by pushing these down. And if I were to use a standard mask with no color information, we can see that the trees never separate from the background. So that's clearly not going to work. We could use the color option in Lumenzia, which would work very well, but it's not visual and interactive. It adds another step to the process. But with the new modes, we can get at these yellows in one simple click. Just simply turn on the new yellow mode, click on the respective mask that you want, give it a second to render out, and we're gonna see that we now have a very good separation of the yellows from the trees. And we can click through the different options to try and find the most appropriate luminosity within the yellow space. But the first one I had is the right one, so I'm gonna use that and go click on the level button to render on a levels adjustment layer with this mask. So we can see here's the mask preview we had just a second ago. It's rendered on this layers level. We could have further customized this just like any other Lumenzia mask if we wanted to, but I think this is gonna work very, very well. So in this case, I just wanna take these tones and make them a little bit darker and a little bit less contrasty. So I'm just gonna slide the gamma slider to the right and bring things down. Now things are getting a bit orange, so I should have used the luminosity blend mode option, but I think this is gonna look pretty good. So looking at, here's the before and after, we can see that the new image has a much stronger separation of the trees from the background and just gives it a new mood. And we were able to do that with one single click to create this mask. Now, a couple of other final comments on this. You might wonder why not just simply use a channels-based mask to get at the same thing. And in some cases that can work very well, but that's not going to work in cases where there's some channel content bleeding across, for example, grays or other mixed colors. If we were to pull up the info panel on this image, just simply hovering over these values, notice the blue values. As I move across the tree trunk, we have a 170 blue, down to about 71. And now I'm in the yellows and we're at 46. And so the blue content stretches across this whole area because these yellows are a little desaturated and these grays are kind of dark. So there's, there's blue across all these. And same thing here, the blue values stretch across this range. There's no clear blue separation. Or looking at the visually, if we pull up the appropriate channels. So I had mentioned the blue channel because obviously red and green are not gonna separate very well in this, but blue almost gets us there. And this is one of the best examples. You would think an image like this, which has pure yellow and whites would separate pretty well on blue, but it doesn't. And just simply look at these gray values versus the tree trunk. They're pretty close. And in here, they're really getting close. And this is the blue version. If we look at the actual yellow mask, I'm going to invert the blue channel. And this is the yellow mask we would get. And notice how the shadow edge of the tree trunk and the yellows have absolutely no separation at all. So a channel-based mask is not a good solution here versus the new Lumenzia version. When we click on this here, what we're getting is not a channel-based approach. It's actually looking at these saturated yellows. It's not looking at the blue channel in isolation. So it's gonna give us a much stronger separation of these and allow for much cleaner results. The last comment I'll make on this is if you're working with Photoshop CS6, due to the limitations of CS6, you will not have these modal buttons at the top of your panel. So instead, simply hold down the command or control key and click on the various options you want and you'll notice the different color channels are in here. So I can render out the color channel by using the key, the keyboard modifier keys instead of those modal buttons. So CS6 users, have no fear, you can still access the new color modes.